pigeons. Attach a note to their ankle and they'll deliver your message anywhere. Right now, they're delivering light across the New York City sky. Hi, this is Light Matters for May 20th, 2016. I'm your host, Justine Murphy. On this month's show, we dive into the work of world-renowned artist Duke Riley. His work is lighting up the skies over Brooklyn Navy Yard through mid-June with Fly By Night, a uniquely orchestrated live exhibit. Featuring a troupe of pigeons and mini LED lights, the exhibit brings together art, nature, and technology. We also explore a new thin film technology that, when applied to photovoltaics, achieves a world-leading solar cell efficiency of nearly 8%. But first, a microscope that's no bigger than a penny has allowed researchers in California to observe the everyday activities of cells within the spinal cords of mice. A team from the Salk Institute for Biological Studies has developed fluorescence imaging approaches based on two-photon and miniaturized one-photon microscopy. Building on previous work, the researchers are able to use their newer mini-microscope to visualize changes in cellular activity in awake, freely behaving mice, specifically in animal spinal cords, which has revealed that astrocyte cells unexpectedly react to intense sensation. Astrocytes are a type of glial cell in the brain and the spinal cord. And traditionally, it's been thought that these cells are purely support cells but there's increasing evidence that these cells might be doing more than just supporting neurons. So in this new work we found that astrocytes show forms of excitation different from neurons um, that implicate them in sensory processing. So if indeed astrocytes are part of a pain circuitry, this presents new opportunities for potentially treating uh, and preventing a variety of pain syndromes. The team is now working to simultaneously record touch or pain-related activity in the brain and spinal cord using additional iterations of the miniaturized microscopes. This will allow them to monitor and manipulate multiple cell types at even higher resolutions and also study normal sensory processing, disease context, and the effect of treatment on cells. A team from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia has reached a milestone in its work with thin film photovoltaic technology. The thin film technology, called CZTS, has been applied to photovoltaics to achieve a world leading 7.6% efficiency in a one square centimeter solar cell. According to the researchers, this achievement is pioneering for thin film photovoltaic technology, which is being explored for zero energy buildings among other applications, on its path towards commercially competitive 20% efficiency. These CZTS cells can be directly deposited as layers that are 50 times thinner than a human hair and have been found to respond better than silicon to blue light wavelengths. These cells can also be stacked as thin film on top of silicon cells, which could ultimately improve their overall performance. The researchers hope to create thin film photovoltaic cells that are flexible, durable, and inexpensive enough for widespread integration in buildings. Solar technology is in the sky, too, as the sole power source for the Solar Impulse 2 airplane, part of the Solar Impulse program, which completed the longest leg of an around-the-world journey that began in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates in March, stopped off in Hawaii, and touched down in Mountain View, California in April. Swiss explorers Bertrand Picard and André Borschberg are flying the airplane, and right now they're making their way across the U.S., landing in Arizona in early May and touching down in Oklahoma on May 16th. Next, they stop off in New York before heading back overseas to continue this groundbreaking adventure. Join us on June 9th for Photonics in Ophthalmology, a digital conference featuring several 15-minute presentations on the use of light-based imaging and techniques for diagnosing and treating eye conditions. Topics to be covered include photo-mediated ultrasound therapy and ophthalmologic lasers. For more information and to register, visit photonics.com slash webinars. Welcome back. Renowned artist Duke Riley has felt a bond with pigeons since rescuing one as a child. He has fostered many of them over the years and is now sharing his love of these social birds in a remarkable performance of live action art. With light technology, he has created a display that pays tribute to pigeons, which for centuries have served as pets and at one time messengers. 
On weekends through June 12th, Creative Time, a New York City-based nonprofit organization that commissions and presents public art projects worldwide, joins Duke in presenting a series of orchestrated performances by a flock of thousands of pigeons over the Brooklyn Navy Yard, where they are currently housed in a converted historic boat. This boat joins the exhibit too with rooftop lighting. The birds emerge from the boat at dusk upon Duke's whistle and circle above the East River. Each is equipped with small leg bands that hold tiny remote controlled three lumen LED lights. According to Creative Time, the birds perform various light based routines in which they twirl, swoop and glide through the air to illuminate the sky. Fly by Night pays tribute to pigeons for their unconventional beauty and companionship, as well as their history of service, particularly in New York City. Learn more at dukereilly.info and creativetime.org. The latest issue of Biophotonics features a new column called The Pipeline, which looks at the R&D spending behind the next generation of biophotonics products. This month's column details how R&D spending at many biophotonics-related companies failed to keep pace with revenue growth in their 2015 fiscal years. Standout performers were Coherent, OSI Systems, and Perkin Elmer. If you're not already, you can subscribe for free at photonics.com. That's it for this month's show. Be sure to follow Photonics Media on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And check out the newly redesigned photonics.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.